Advanced Sudoku Strategy, X-Wing, explained. An X-Wing forms when a candidate appears in four cells that forms the four corners of a rectangle and the formation meets certain conditions. Here is an example from a partially solved expert level Sudoku. The candidate six in the four yellow cells is an X-Wing. These four yellow cells can be thought of as the intersections of two columns and two rows, highlighted in green and lavender, respectively. In each of the two green columns, candidate 6 must appear only in the yellow cells. But in the lavender rows, candidate 6 must appear elsewhere besides the yellow cells. The rule of the strategy says that the sixes in the lavender rows, not in the yellow cells, can be eliminated, resulting in the appearance of naked singles 4 and 9, and a hidden single 6 indicated in the beige cells. For each of the two green columns, candidate 6 can only be the solution to one of the two yellow cells, but they are not allowed to be in the same row, so they must be in one of the two diagonal pairs. That means both lavender rows will always be taken by 6, no matter where 6 goes. That's why the 6s in the lavender rows, not in the yellow cells, can be eliminated. This is an X-wing of candidate 1 and 4 yellow cells like the example before. But this time, the candidate of interest, namely 1, appears only in the yellow cells in the green rows. And in the lavender columns, it appears elsewhere besides the yellow cells, and these extra ones are eliminated. This one is called an X-wing in the rows, whereas the first example is called an X-wing in the columns. Thank you for watching.